Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm gonna be discussing Inoue's Uchimata. It is four versions of Uchimata. Each Uchimata had a certain scenario for it. For example, um, left-handed, uh, heavy, tall, etc. Every Uchimata had its own uh, use. Uh, I took this from the Inoue Uchimata uh, DVD. They say there are eight types, but there are actually four. I will explain this later. So he had four major Uchimatas for every scenario. First, we start with the Tobikomi Uchimata. Tobikomi, it's actually, he called it his secret weapon. It is an instant stab. He used it preferably in the Olympics. Uh, here you can see he just hops and reaps with the leg that's coming from behind. He doesn't stab forward like uh, Maruyama or Ono is like an instant Uchimata he doesn't um, stab and then reap away he just turns hops and reaps so here against Nicholas Gill in the finals of the 2000 Sydney Olympics he used it and according to Neil Adams it is the greatest throw of all time here we can see he just hops and reaps with the following leg upon 100%. So he mainly used this throughout the majority of his career, the Tobikomi Uchimata. Uh, keep in mind, he spent his major the majority of his career in the minus 100. Um, so reaping outside didn't occur until later on. So he would uh, usually lift with the hips and reaping with the leg. The second is the Oikomi Uchimata, the style you see uh, Maruyama and Ono doing. He rarely used this, but you see he stabs forward and then reaps with the following leg. So in Oi Tobikomi Uchimata, he just hops. Uh, the following leg stays in the air and does it quickly. Here, he had to take a, a step forward and then reaps with the following leg. Similar here, uh, Maruyama does it. He stabs deep and then follows up with the leg and reaps with the stabbing leg so he rarely used this one he was mainly using Tobikomi Uchimata because it was far more surprising unlike Ono and Maruyama who use it who use only this uh, version he also had the Ken Ken Uchimata or the hopping Uchimata um, this was for particularly the extreme left-handers Kosei in a way was right-handed he used it mainly against far extreme left-handers because grabbing the sleeve and then entering from the side in order to get the Uchimata because he didn't have a square on position so he would enter from the side uh, reaps the leg and starts hopping in order to get the Ippon here we can see a great uh, example against the Brazilian he cannot catch the sleeve uh, the stances are too extreme the moment he catches the sleeve he comes in from the side and starts hopping till he gets the rotation and pulling on the sleeve in order to rotate them flat on their back here against Georgia uh, Jikarauli um, in the team world championship again uh, an extreme left-hander extreme stance um, he cannot uh, get it square on and so he hops with Ken Ken Uchimata from the side. Here he tries, Jekarauli is trying to attack and then Uchimata comes in inevitably Ken Ken from the side. So for each situation there is an Uchimata and also when he moved to the plus 100 uh, he also adjusted his Uchimata. It became like a an Oikomi Uchimata similar to Maruyama he stabbed, stabs in from the side and reaps he doesn't use his hips he he has his hips outside and then reaps away whether it's a stab like an oikomi uchimata or a spin here like a hop with tobikomi it doesn't matter the point is to go in from the side and reap away here look how giant his opponent is from peru how big he is he cannot obviously uh, do like a traditional uchimata so he goes from the side and reaps away it's not like nicholas gill he just goes in on the axis and just flips them easily here in the plus 100 you can be 
40 kilograms lighter or 30 so he had to go on the side a small hop following it and it's Ippon so this is what makes in a way a genius and such a dominant champion in his career he had an Uchimata for every scenario he had an answer for everything whether you are heavy tall uh, left-handed extreme left-handed if you are a right-hander and if you use a very dominant grip he would grab sometimes from the lapel and the armpit and does his uchimata on loading on the hips and reaping with the leg but for example the plus 100 he would go to the side and reap away so this is what makes uh, in a way such um, an impressive individual um, the dvd says there are eight types but there really are four for example um he would hop with Ouchigari and then turns to the other side and it's Uchimata. So it's more like a combination rather than a version of Uchimata. So I would say there are four, this one, these four that I just mentioned. And there's also stuff like twitching with Ouchigari and then going for Uchimata. So these are mainly combos, not uh, versions of Uchimata. Uh, the only versions are the, the four that I just mentioned. I hope you found this uh, video in, informational and educational. Uh, this was Shadi and thank you for listening.